did a review yesterday on the uh, Benchmade Meat Crafter knife, and it got me thinking here. I've had another knife that uh, comes from a manufacturer not many people might be aware of, and I could be wrong, but at least in the circles I run, it's called North Arm Knives. They're out of British Columbia, and somebody brought this to my attention a while back. They have uh, mm -hmm. this knife here I'm looking at is the Kerr Mode. I'm probably butchering it, but uh, this is one of their fillet knives. This one has a 9-inch blade. It's absolute joy in the hand. Full tang. Um, I have a couple options for the handles. They have black and hunter orange G10, which is absolutely fine for me. And they have carbon fiber for an add-on. CNC blade. And the thing is just absolutely a joy in the hand. Now, it comes with a uh, Kydex sheath, which is going to take care of that in any real condition. I, I like to... I'm not going to hang it off my belt, but that brings up another point. Uh, just because I don't like 16 inches of knife, I might as well have a sword hanging off. Uh, but they have the extended option here, which is what I got just in case I had a bigger belt on. Uh, it's like a $4 ad. So this thing is just insanely sharp. One of the things that came across to me really well is that when you get this knife, I'm not going to show them um, on here and put their information out there, but you get cards from the uh, owner operators. I don't know if it's a father and a son or if it's brothers, Michael and John, each give you one of their cards. So can't go much further than that. If you have any complaints, that's a big confidence move for their product. But now I've had this thing for a number of months and just kind of wanted to get the word out there. Anytime outdoorsmen uh, find a new product, it's you know, might as well share with others. But here's how this thing goes. And again, I've had this through plenty, plenty of fish. And any hesitation on the blade is probably, probably me, either technique-wise or just the fact that it needs to be again. It's just, yeah, I might have got a couple bursts in there, but you can tell that that thing's a nasty sharp. And it comes out of the box ready to go, but just need to hit it on the strop a couple times. Um, but I recommend this to anybody that's looking for, a, likes a flexible blade, and they do make it in a six inch if you're more in a trout or perch or something where you don't really need this as long and that's that's a little bit cheaper this one uh 158 bucks plus a couple dollars for shipping and i have to tell you coming from british columbia this thing shipped faster than anything in the states i was worried anytime you buy stuff outside the country that it uh, would take a little bit longer through customs but it flew through i think they use dhl and i was just insanely surprised and, and happy with that but uh Knife itself here with that nine inch blade comes in to looks like uh, 13 and 7 eighths total, and I think it's around 16 in the sheath. But again, I got that, and it's pretty close, like 15 and three quarters. But again, I got the extended belt loop. But uh, I'll put a link to this down in the description. Again, it's North Arm Knives Limited, and they're out of British Columbia. And I highly, highly recommend this, you know, for, for the price. Some people will get sticker shock and they'd rather buy a lifetime full of cheap knives. But to me personally, something like this is more an investment. If you take care of it, it'll last and you can hand it to your kids. And bottom line is it's not going to let you down out in the field somewhere where you really need it. And you have, you know, some El Cheapo knife from Walmart that snapped in half made in China. I like to support anybody that's going out of their way to make a quality product. And uh, these guys definitely have it. So if you have any questions, you can put them down below and can make a follow-up video or whatever but um this thing just sits beautifully in this holster just locks in there secure you're not gonna whoop man i bumped it against the ground unless you're upside down i doubt it's gonna slip out because you don't have your belt like that but anyway really pleased with quality the whole way through it it really hurts to see sometimes guys make a good knife and they either outsource their their sheath or something else and a knife without a sheath isn't going to last near as long you have to spend extra money to get an aftermarket one but I'm not going to have that problem here with the the Kermode nine inch from north arm check it out